Patricia is thrilled to host Ms. Dominique uh, about uh, res education research. Um, welcome Ms. Dominique, uh, Thank you. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to host you and uh, we are thankful that uh, you're here and we're thankful to participate in uh, your educational uh, research. Uh, Ms. Dominique, uh, could you uh, tell us about yourself? Sure. So, my name is Dominique. I'm currently a, a master's student at Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I'm finishing up my degree in Applied Linguistics. Um, I've always been very fascinated with language and culture and how these things influence our minds. So, um, that's what I'm studying and that's um, why I am doing that. Oh, I hope you join that again. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's great to be here. Uh, will you please uh, tell us about your uh, research and why did you choose uh, Zarka mm -hmm. um, and why did you choose AAJ school? Yeah, so my research is investigating the relationship between um, how the direction one reads and writes in and how that influences um, your cognition. So specifically my project is looking at um, processing of number and quantity. And so previous research shows that people who read and write in a language from left to right will typically associate small numbers on the left and large numbers on the right. Whereas individuals who read and write mostly from right to left will do it in the opposite direction. So this has a lot of implications for um, people's number development and um, learning of mathematical concepts. Um, so I chose American Academy Jordan because I met Mr. Nabil and Nadia Alfar when I was an undergrad at Liberty University and I was very impressed by their school and just their passion for education and so I knew it would be a perfect location to do this research. Yes. Um, what is your vision for the future? Um, so the near future I'm hoping to um, expand this research especially at different levels of development so my own research is looking at adults um, but I think it would be very interesting to include this with children and teenagers um, just to be able to track how, as they're acquiring language, how their other um, concept formation is uh, also developing alongside that. And then longer term, I even hope to study this with special populations, so children with dyslexia or, or dyscalculia, which has to do with, again, number formation. And um, so yeah, those are my plans for the future. Uh, we are so blessed uh, to host you again and uh, we hope uh, you the best in the future. Thank and thank you for uh, your research, thank you for caring about uh, Zarka and 